Remember spirit things. I live his life, you know. <laughs> Use that poor man shield, live as much as possible. Ooh. Top lane, Centaur is going to go ahead and get Missile. The Blade Fury doing a lot of work. We're going to see Centaur escape just a little bit. He's got some Tangos, he's got some Fairy Fires, but certainly a lot of action. Jumping down bottom, we have Boombex to be setting up after that. It's going to be Ah Bing scoring the first blood using that Rocket Barrage. Easy yeah. kill on the Bat Rider, and there's really nothing DJ could have done. Once he got that Disruption, didn't even need the Impale to follow up. Just spraying out the damage close range. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, once you're disrupted, it's over in this lane. And that's kind of what we're talking about when it comes to Shao Demon and Nyx Assassin, right? Every single time, it's just going to be, uh, yes, like that. <laughs> once what again, we go forward. Another impale coming in. This Bat Rider just can't catch a break. May end up going down here again. He tries to live. He just won't be able to do so. DJ getting slapped back as well, down to half health. Already, Clutch Gamer showing a lot of determination up here. He got it, dude. He got his level two. And uh, any stacks? No, they weren't able to because the rotation from the Earth Spirit. So, again, very, very oh. difficult. Oh no, it's happening again. I'm here. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's. Things. Getting a little bit of farm going here. Rotation into the bottom. Looks like they're going to go in onto 5593. This poor Bat Rider. Oh god. There's going to be a silence coming in, but they got the call. 5593 already taking a ton of damage. They got the impale as well. Rolled back in from DJ. This may prove to be lethal for him. He's taking the full rocket barrage right to the back of the skull. Boombex having the impale up in four seconds. He's going for the juke. Is it going to be enough? He's playing ring around the rosy. He's dodging death, but will eventually lose the battle. Not going great for this bot lane on Execration. Yeah, that is painful. And um, still, they haven't done any real neutral lane. are not expecting that. It's omnipresent Juggernaut just always creeping up behind you, and he's going to secure a second tower for himself. This is Execration, booting that net worth back into their favor, but Smoke Gank up top may just make things back to normal to DJ. Pretty Vendetta. low value kill, but a kill nonetheless. Vendetta Strike comes in. They've got the call down. That is the deadest Earth Spirit I ever did see. Yep. <laughs> Not much hope on that one. Uh, that was a but, lot of uh, farm. And that's actually insane. Where where did it come from? Uh, he must have had some jungle oh, stacks oh, going Nando. or something. Goes in, gets the bounty, but that may just be the last thing he does. He's gonna get knocked up and clubbed down. Ah Bing doing very well. 4-0-3 on this gyro. Well, again, they're just doing it with this gyro. I mean, this is what gyro used to be good at, was those early rotations. You would like hit six, TP to the lane, throw your ulti down, and then you just rotate around the map and pumped it all this magic damage. Not very uh, item dependent as a hero. He's got that Helm the Dominator too, so you can get some good creeps for scouting and uh, aiding in the engagements. And lane supports are waiting on Execration to try and get a counterplay here. And when Gabby leaves here, this is where it might happen. Mel. Clutch. I feel like both our, our mids haven't got a chance to use their items yet, eh? Like, we haven't seen a Shadow Blade gank, and we still haven't really seen a big Veil play either. <laughs> Just both teams kind of dodging. Don't you worry about it. We got it right now. Nando going in. He's going to get maybe stomped. Not really. Net Creep comes out, holding Gabby in place temporarily. Look at this call. Doing some work onto three heroes. Vange is going to go in. She's going to end up eating this damage. Swaps herself into a nasty oh. situation. And all of a sudden, three heroes are dead on the dire side. Gabby going to get plucked down as well. And that is just a lot of damage coming at him. Ah Bing on a mega kill streak right now. Still hasn't died. 5-0-6. Everyone but Shadow Fiend taken out. I mean, you asked for a Veil play. I didn't was even get insane. it. Did you see how much damage that was? He didn't use his veil. Oh, he probably did. So, it was probably 20 seconds since he was like right over here and popped in that fight. Did he though? I'm sure he did. I didn't he see any did. purple shit going down. Oh, he does. I oh, look at this mud golem dude. This guy's got balls. He's all the way in. There's going to be an impale holding the vengeful spirit in place. She's taking a mana burn. We are going to have a quick pause. Gyrocopter apparently alt tabbed. So, we're, we're tapped back in, Gyrocopter's back at the wheel, ready to go in with the call down. And, uh, <laughs> looks like Dyer just gonna have to find take that here. Lasso. Oh yeah, they go in, they hold the Gyrocopter in place, but he got the BKB off, so 5593 once again bites the dust. Nando able to shadow blade his way away, but that means Dyer give up this Roche, and that is such a big gold swing going in favor of Clutch right now. Not only did they find a pick on the already poor bat, but they're going to find an Aegis and they're going to find this Roche gold. Alright, well, well scouted by the Nyx Assassin. 
Jason gets here, finds that out, and, uh, well, I mean, the support was kind of handy, but... Uh, that's a dire word. Okay. Whew, this word, that's the one. <clears throat> Oh, still ages for how long? A minute and about 15 or so. So up we shall go. Secretion, they've got a shot to defend this. Impale clips onto the Shadow Fiend. They'll get a chance to recoup from that, but this is still clutch. Just showing off a huge lead right now. Armel, top of the chart in terms of net worth, picks up a full Maelstrom right now. And Ah Bing with this Lincolns is just chunking this apart the tower. Is so annoying, actually. Bench has the swap, but you gotta wait till that Lingus is done. Now, Gabby, he's moving forward. He's got himself an Omni Slash. He's gonna be able to spin himself back up to high ground. Not getting too cheeky with it, but speaking of cheeky, Nando moves forward. Double impale and the call, though. It connects on all five. Oh, it's a massacre. Armel is just making this a quick one. They may lose the Nyx to burn damage. In fact, the Flame Break secures the kill, but worthwhile to get the Juggernaut down and lose no cores in the side of Clutch. Are they going to reinitiate for this Earth Spirit? DJ's asking for it, but makes his way back to safety. Clutch feeling really confident right now. 10,000 net worth ahead of the Dire Squad. Almost 15,000 XP. Looking at how levels are going, our Ember Spirit already has his level 20 and gets cooldown reduction, so those remnants are just going to be kicking you in the ass. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He's super farm this game. And uh, a lot of that ex experience disadvantage coming because they've been trying these smoke ganks and not finding anything. As Nando will move forward here once again. Knows there's no sentry. But just <laughs> gives him a break and... Well... I guess they don't have the best reinitiation. I mean... I mean... He's dead. Like, what? Okay. Pretty big kill just to kind of give away. Just have your Shadow Fiend farming a wave. I think you'd rather... Missed out on the farm and secure your life. Unfortunate there, and that means there may be another kill. Shadow Fiend, the scariest hero, is still in the fountain. He has oh, no. to a buyback. Oh my goodness, Armel. Yep, that's the power of the cooldown reduction. You got the remnants, you got the mana, and they're gonna secure themselves a tier three. That means shrines are gonna be fair game pretty shortly. Shadow Fiend bought back for this. Can he actually defend here? Searing chains connect. There is gonna be the soft follow-up. They're gonna lose their Earth Spirit on the back lines. Meanwhile, Ah Bing picks off Gabby. It may just all be over here. The centaur may have bitten off more than he can chew. He's gonna get disrupted and saved by Fly Solo. Oh my lordy lord. It's only Nando left alive. Again, he did buy back into this fight. He just has to sit in this fountain. He can't afford a dieback right now. This is a full lane of racks being claimed by Clutch Gaming pretty early on, 30 minutes in. Armel, the Ember Spirit, hasn't even hit his full potential, and he's already going to be on a huge streak for himself. 7, 2, and 6. Almost 19,000 net worth. Ah Bing on the gyro, right behind him. 14,000 to his name, and there we go. Shadow Fiend moves in, is able to find a kill, but at the cost of Rax, Ah Bing still moving forward. These Vengeance getting blasted down by Gyro Illusions, forced to activate the Shrine, and he still goes down. The Bat dead as well. Oh my, they're gonna lose the Shadow Fiend here. The good game, well played, comes out as Execration just get rolled on when Clutch start working together. Wow. That was intense. That thing buys his E Blade Gyro. Nice. Sick, sick meme, dude. Ancient. Ancient, right there. That's the, the e, e, e Blade. Uh, but anyway, that was crazy. 8 0 and 14 from a Bing. Hey, love this gyro. And it works uh, some serious wonders there. Who's involved in 22 of the 25 kills they had there? What happened to Gabby in those last two fights? He just like blinked out. Um, yeah, got annihilated. So, uh, Clutch Gamers, they did it. Took this one with style. Some, some serious fortitude. These picks. Uh, again, I, I love this gyro. I love this combination of the Veil, Ember with the Gyrocopter. The support Nyx was a big hit this game. Uh, all set up by Fly Solo and a lot of those big rotations. Great vision throughout the game. And they played their draft to a T. That's exactly what they had to do to win. And uh, Rappy handed a shit lane, but came back and uh, certainly made it work there. So uh, we will head our...